Today we'll show you how to make a very bright glow in the dark paint using some nail polish and uh, glow in the dark powder. Turn off the light and show you how bright this paint is. There we go. It's glowing like a small flashlight. So this nail polish I bought at the 99 cent store. I find that that's the cheapest place where you can get this. I also saw this for sale at Walmart, but they sell it for three or four times, or even five times more expensive. This is the clove in the dark powder, and uh, this is the chemical formula. Its name is Strontium Illuminate, and this is one of the brightest clove in the dark powder you can find on the market. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix some of this powder uh, onto the uh, nail polish bottle. I made a little uh, paper funnel to help me uh, pour this powder onto the, uh, the bottle. And see it's sinking at the bottom of the bottle. The more you put, the more powder you put in here the brighter the paint is going to be. Okay. I'm going to have to stir it up and mix it up a little bit. It doesn't dissolve very easily. You can see here there's a big clump on the bottom. Because this doesn't reach all the way to the bottom. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put a couple of steel ball in the bottle. And then I'm going to shake it real good. Now that's going to help really dissolve everything. You can hear the ball is uh, moving around in the bottle. There we go. Now that's going to help dissolve the uh, powder. Make it uniform. You can see there it's almost uniform after I add the uh, steel ball. That's pretty good. Now let's see how much powder I use for this uh, bottle. So this bag before I um, add in the uh, the powder, it weighs around 49 grams. See how much it is now? 44.9 grams. So let's say 45 grams. So I use about 4 grams of uh, powder in this bottle. And it looks like it's quite saturated already. Um, I think I can add a little bit more, but because it's quite full right now, there's no more room to add in any more powder. I guess you can put in more, a little bit more powder, and make make that makes it a little bit brighter. But then you have to release some of your uh, paint out of the bottle first because there's. For me right now, there's no more room to add in this bottle, but it's uh, it's quite bright right now. I think that should be bright enough. Now let's see how bright it is. I'm gonna charge it with my uh, ultraviolet light here for a little bit. Let's turn off the light. See how bright that is. Here we go. Wow, that is quite bright. You can see my hands very clearly in the dark. It's complete darkness. And it is... It looks like a small flashlight. <laughs> very bright. So here we go. I'm going to try and paint on this piece of plastic here. This is cover for an old laptop. Let's see how bright it's going to be. All 
Alright, so here we go. Paint does stick on the uh, plastic really well. Somewhat dry now. I'm gonna charge it using my uh, ultraviolet LED. I'll charge it just a little bit. See, uh, show you how bright it is. Now let's turn off the light. There we go. It's quite bright. The red LED. LED you see there right under letter A is the light from my camera. It's a, just a reflection of the light of my camera. So there you have it. Homemade glow in the dark paint with some nail polish, some steel ball, strontium aluminate powder. And you can basically paint on any surface. Alright, that's all I have for now. And uh, see you next time.